Pokemon Legends Victini. So that is the game title that I want to talk about today. So this is all like fan made stuff right here. Like there's no real announcement about Pokemon Legends Victini. I'm just talking about the possibility of what it could maybe be if it were to ever come out. And I think it's kind of a fitting theme, you know, Gen 5 Victini. Because recently we've had all that drama and news and leaks or whatever about a Legends Gen 5 Unova based game coming out sometime soon, which has kind of all died down now. Like, no one's really talking about all the Gen 5 stuff anymore, but I feel like this is kind of cool. Like, nobody's really talking about a Legends Victini game besides a few posts on Reddit that I've seen. Also, quickly, guys, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $20 eShop gift card that you can use on your Nintendo Switch. So, all you have to do to enter is subscribe, comment down below, letting me know that you did that, and like the video. So I found an actual like whole fan website about like a fan made story of Pokemon Legends Victini which is actually pretty cool because it looks like it's all legit like they even have like a fake release date of being 2027 November 17th you know publishers by Nintendo and the Pokemon company made by Button Studios and Game Freak which is kind of cool that somebody went to like this extent to actually make this website and to make Legends Victini seem like an actual game. So I'll just pretty much read this website out. It basically says that Legends Victini is a 2027. That's only a few years away actually, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, it says it's an open world role playing adventure game developed in collaboration between Game Freak and Button Studios. And then this website also says this will be the second installation in the Pokemon Legends franchise, which is kind of interesting because Legends Arceus came out 2022. So that means if this was like legit, like, you know, just for fun saying here, this is a five year gap in between Legends games, which is kind of cool. So basically Legends Victini takes place in the Unova region 100 years prior to the events of Pokemon Black and White. So before the whole black and white story even takes place. This is 100 years before. And when the region had only recently been colonized by the Colossians or Kelosians, however you want to say it, and Galarian settlers, the main plot follows the player's quest to compile the first Pokemon index of the Danu region, which could come to be known as the first Pokedex. That's actually kind of cool. Simultaneously, the player becomes involved in tensions between two heirs of Danu's throne, Prince Yushiro of Truth and Prince Oraku of Ideals. I think that's a pretty solid like fan made quick description of what the game might possibly be because it's like they're kind of going into depth here. Some of the two main people that could take place in the story and like the main conflict because it's two because there's tensions between the two heirs, so, so like there's some type of drama in between them. I'm gonna leave a link to this entire website in the description down below because this website's actually like huge. Like. If I read everything, it would take me a solid 30 minutes probably. So I'm just going to kind of summarize up the gameplay right here. So of course, it's going to be an open world game or whatever. And there's a turn-based combat system. And this says after completing a brief tutorial, which I hope it would be brief because the Legends Arceus tutorial was excruciating. It was awful. That thing took like an hour and a half to complete this stupid tutorial that like everybody like kind of already knew. Like I get that the game was a little different in its open world style, but dude, everyone would have figured it out right away. It was crazy. That stupid tutorial was way too long. Anyways, so yeah, basically the player can explore all the corners of the Danu region with no story-based progression required to access the farthest corners of the region. So kind of similar to Scarlet and Violet in a way where you don't really have to have any storyline progression to reach some places. I mean, I know Scarlet and Violet weren't completely like that because you did have to get to a certain level or get a certain Pokemon to reach some areas or level up Corridon or Maradon enough to like rock climb or fly or something like that. So it wasn't entirely like you couldn't go everywhere, but you know, you if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. And so it kind of brings that up too right here where it says like it might, it might be difficult to get to certain areas or find new things like crossing rivers or getting over a mountain you unlock those abilities during the main storyline so that's kind of cool it kind of gives you still a reason to like play the game and come back to different areas so of course as all pokemon games have already like been you catch different pokemon and uh you have different pokeballs and everything and you could throw a pokeball at them directly or throwing one out in a battle and similarly to Legends Arceus, you know, Pokemon can attack you and everything, and you can attack a Pokemon, lower their health to catch them easier and everything. And so right here, this is interesting. It says, for the first time in the Pokemon series, the player has their own experience and level. This factor is used to determine such 
Determine factors such as AI difficulty, wild and trainer Pokemon levels, and chances of random events such as weather conditions and special phenomena occurring. The player gains experience whenever their Pokemon gains experience from a battle, but they can also get experience via other means such as crafting and completing quests. They start at level 1 and the end level or the cap level is 20. I think that's kind of an interesting idea. I don't necessarily think I would like that, to be honest, too much if that were to be in a Pokemon game. I kind of like how it is already. Like, you already have to stress enough about leveling up your Pokemon and making them strong. So I don't know if I'd want to have another grind to get myself to, like, level 20 just so I can unlock some new Pokemon or Storms. It's kind of an interesting take, but I don't think I would like that that much. I'm going to skip a little bit because there's a lot of unnecessary stuff that I don't really need to talk about, but this is interesting. So this talks about the ride Pokemon, of course, you know, like how Scarlet and Violet and uh, Legends Arceus, we had different Pokemon to ride or whatever. So the first one is Bufalent or Baufalent. This one allows players to dash across the lands at high speeds. So basically quick running and he can break rocks that may stand in your way, whatever. Hippodon which you can surf with going across the water and everything. Go Goat, which allows the player to climb steeper cliffs, so going out, so going up mountains and everything like that. It is also ignores slippery effect of icy surfaces. That's actually kind of clutch right there. And then we got Multinian or Multinian, whatever. This one allows players to cross bodies of lava and magma. That's actually really cool. I don't think we had anything like that ever in a Pokemon game. And then Zeb Strika, Allows the players to cross the land extremely fast speeds, faster than Bufalent, and he can also dash across water with enough momentum. So that's like the OP Pokemon right there. Like, that's insane. So the next part is about day and night cycles, and it's going to be relative to whatever the actual player's current, like, outside weather is in, in real life, which is kind of cool. Of course, there's going to be seasons and stuff too, kind of like Pokemon Black and White too, which I think is really awesome. I definitely like that. There will be special events, which is awesome. Everyone loves their special events. And then an Eclipse is a special event that causes extraterrestrial Pokemon named Elgum, Clefairy, Beldum, Solrock, and Lunatone to appear more frequently. I think that's really cool, actually. That's a pretty sweet idea. And different Pokemon appear with rainbows and stuff like that. Like, that's really cool. This website goes into so much detail. I'm definitely going to put the link in the description, so make sure to check it out. But something else that I thought would be kind of unique is, like, what if what if this game is similar to Scarlet and Violet in the sense where you get, like, the legendary Pokemon early on? So, like, imagine you get Victini, like, as your starter Pokemon or early on in the game, and then Victini is your companion throughout the game that ultimately like helps you to decide what to do or you can discover things with him and he can assist you and everything like that would be really awesome and Victini's a little guy but he's a freaking pretty sweet he's a pretty sweet dude you know what I'm saying and hopefully if this were to ever come out because we're we're coming up close to the next Nintendo console so the graphics should be significantly better on that so imagine how good the graphics would be on this next console if this were to ever come out in 2027 like i said if you didn't hear me earlier guys this is a total like fan fiction type of thing like this is not real i'm just bringing it up because it's a cool concept it's just a concept of what the game actually could be and then i saw another guy on reddit talk about what if it was based in the 50s because he basically made the point that in scarlet and violet we got rock ability the delinquent pokemon squawk ability whatever which is kind of Remin which kind of has to do with like the 1950s American culture and everything and so this guy wants a Unova Legends type of game based on the 50s which would be kind of interesting honestly like different like a Mafia Team Plasma and I think that would be pretty cool Hot Rods we kind of had Hot Rods in Scarlet and Violet which I didn't really like but I think this would be a unique idea to a Pokemon game based in the 50s. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you would want to see a Legends Victini game based on the Generation 5 Pokemon or Unova region. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.